Hey, I'm Andrew Skirko with Sierra Designs. In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you declination and I'm gonna show you how to orient a map using a magnetic compass. It's critical to understand that the needle in your compass is pointing towards magnetic north, which is not the same thing as true north. True north is at the North Pole, this is where Santa Claus lives. Magnetic north is floating up in the Canadian archipelago. Currently, it's right about here. But in the last 180 years, it's actually moved uh, from here up to here and all of your maps are oriented towards true north. Declination is the difference in the direction that your magnetic needle is pointing versus the direction of true north. And in the United States, if you live anywhere along this black line, declination is basically zero. So when you hold up your compass, the magnetic needle is basically also pointing at true north. But if you live east of the Mississippi River, what's happening is that your magnetic needle is pulling west towards the Mississippi River relative to where true north is. And if you live west of the Mississippi River, your magnetic needle is pulling again towards the Mississippi River, pulling east relative to the direction of true north. A good topographic map will tell you the declination between magnetic north and true north. In this map here, this, this one here, this is a map of Colorado, and you'll see that magnetic north is eight degrees pointing to the east of true north. As we move further west, this is a map of the Cascades in Washington, and the declination goes from eight degrees out to 22 degrees, but it's still pulling east towards the Mississippi River. If these maps were, say, um, of New Orleans, Louisiana, which is sitting on the Mississippi River, true north and magnetic north are essentially the same thing. There's no declination. And then if you were in an area, say, like Boston, Massachusetts, magnetic north would be pulling, and your magnetic needle would be pointing west towards the Mississippi R River relative to the direction of true north. Let me point out the most important parts of the compass. This plastic piece is known as the base plate. This piece here is known as the rotating dial. Inside of the rotating dial, we have a couple of really important pieces. One is the magnetic needle, the, and the side of the magnetic needle we're most, most interested in is the colored side, in this case, orange. We have these parallel lines, which are known as meridian lines. They're on both sides. Uh, and then we have the orienting arrow, which I'll sometimes refer to as the shed. It's this kind of this large block arrow. And then finally, we have the direction of travel, which is the direction the compass is pointed, and that's going to be this way, and you can see a direction of travel are here, here, but more, most important, just realize that it's parallel to the edge of the compass. The last thing we're gonna do in this video is we're going to orient a map. But before we do that, I wanna point out that there are two different types of compasses. One is an, a non-adjustable compass. The other is an adjustable compass. This is going to cost a little bit more money, but it's a lot more user-friendly if you're gonna be doing extensive map and compass work. With an adjustable compass, I can change the relationship between the orienting arrow and the rotating dial. So since I live here in Colorado, where declination is eight degrees and where this morning it's really cold, uh, you'll see that the uh, orienting arrow is eight degrees to the east of true north. Whereas on the non-adjustable compass, I can't change that relationship. And I'll point out that if we were living east of the Mississippi River, that my orienting arrow, instead of being pointing east of north, it would actually be pointing to the west because the Mississippi River is to the west if you live back in, say, Boston. So when you orient the map, what you're doing is you're spatially aligning the topographic features on the map with those in the field. And this is a really useful thing to do, say, if you're at a trail junction, and you can see that there's a trail that goes this way, and there's a trail that goes this way. And when you orient the map, there are going to be two trails that go in the same direction. And if you know that you need to take the left trail, then that means you need to start walking in that direction. To orient the map, you'll go ahead and line up the meridian lines with any north-south line on the map. I usually use the edge of the map, but you can also use, say, that red line that's running north-south. And then you'll go ahead and you'll keep those two things anchored together and you'll rotate your whole body until the magnetic needle is inside the orienting arrow or red is in the shed. And at this point, this map is now oriented, which means on the map, you can see we're located right about here. And on the map, South Boulder Peak, Bear Peak, Green Mountain are to our north. And sure enough, if you were to look up, they're out there in the clouds.